guys, welcome back to The Horror of the Horror with your hostess with the most, Annabelle, as always. So of course it is Tuesday and we are going to continue our Are You Afraid of the Dark episode marathon reviews. We are starting season two. Uh, episodes I am talking about today is The Final Wish and The Midnight Madness. So let's crack into it. Uh, so first one up, The Final Wish, uh, I'll be honest with you guys, this one really... Um, I really don't like that episode. It's very forgettable for me. It's very boring. Um, the only good thing about it is that it has Bobcat Goldthwait in it, and even his performance, it's just not even that enjoyable. And I mean, most of the time whenever I see that guy, I'm kind of like, eh, I get a good little cheap laugh out of him, but uh, I just, it's a boring episode, um, which basically... This little girl, this 13-year-old girl, whatever, really into, like, her fairy tales and everything. Much like how a lot of us are into our horror movies, our Star Wars, our whatever it is. Uh, she's just, you know, she's really into fairy tales and everything. And her family always is telling her, grow up, grow up, blah, blah, blah. She doesn't want to, so one night she kind of, like, reads this um, fairy tale or whatever, um about the Sandman and stuff, and then when she falls asleep, he kidnaps her and everything and takes her to her own little fairy tale and whatnot. Her family and friends are there, but they're kind of, like, in this weird sort of, like, sleep and everything, almost like a sleep prison. I mean, it has, the story has potential, but it just kind of was, like I said, for me, it was just kind of, like, a, a pretty boring episode. I always forget about it. Um, actually, when I picked up the, uh, season two dvd to uh start watching the episodes the other day i literally looked at the back to see the first one up and i was like ugh, this episode um i mean i don't know i'm, I'm sure some of you guys were out there probably do enjoy, enjoy this one not so much me mm -mm, mm -mm, not a favorites uh but let's go on to the episode two of the video which is the midnight madness the midnight madness story um i i have a pretty big appreciation for this episode. Uh, so let me remind you on what this episode is about. So basically, it is about a um, very old movie theater and everything. Uh, a couple of kids who work there pretty much going out of business. No one ever comes here anymore because everyone's going to the new big Cineplex and everything, the Multiplex and everything. Uh, yeah, for those of you who remember, those were still being, like, huge and everything. That's really kind of the time where these new, like, AMCs and stuff were, like, building almost like mega movie theaters. So, our version of mega churches, just saying. Um, but, so they're kind of, like, failing and everything. They're going out of business. And they're like, what do we do? What do we do? We need to show some classics. And what do you know? Who shows up? Episode 1. Dr. Vic, with the 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 the, uh, so he shows up, he's like, hey, I've got this movie uh, that I made and everything way, way back in like the 20s, whatever, show this movie uh, every Saturday night, midnight showing and everything, you will get people to come in and everything, your business will start back up and again and everything, so they're like, okay, this is going to work, but we got nothing else, like nothing else is going to save us at this point, so they start showing it. And people are starting to come in and everything and watch this movie. And they're like, business is picking up. Um, I like the little, like, fake movie that they do. I think they actually, know they, I think do actually call it Nosferatu. I was going to say their own little version of Nosferatu. Because isn't Nosferatu uh, public domain? Like, I know Night of the Living Dead is. I'm pretty sure it is. But it basically, it's, you know, it's like a knockout version of Nosferatu that's supposed to be Nosferatu. Just a fun little episode. Uh, it's fun, and it's I like that it's a little bit of an homage for us fans and everything, kind of letting them know, like, hey, we know you guys watch this. We know you guys are really into this stuff, so... Or, you know, even, like, there's, there's more stuff out there, more scary stuff to really kind of, you know, just saying. Um, but, yeah, no, it's a fun one. It's a fun episode. I really enjoyed this episode, so I have an appreciation for it. Um, so there, there's my little Tuesday review. Till next time, you guys, as always, stay creepy, classy, and a little bit sassy.